We at Cat Studios say that we are an elder gen- that Cat is an elder gen to me, not a boy. You can't control what you guys say. Uh, greetings, foolish mortals, tis I, Cat. And I, I, I forgot to do something, hold on. Uh-oh. Give me a second. Yeah, yeah they're gonna get mad at the laundromat for you. Thank you. No, it's called Discord Reactive Image is not right, so let me just fix that. I forgot to upgrade to re version 4. Upgrade to version 4? Oh. Mm -hmm. I thought you said virgin 4. I was like, that's a very weird program name. Yes. Uh, hold on. Uh, co-host? Uh, nope. Core. And we now wait. And there we go. Say hello. Hello. There we go. So everyone, if you haven't figured it out, we will be doing Yakuza Kiwami 2. Also, by the way, before I forget, thank you both Core and Survivor for subscribing for eight months. You have one more month to the babies born. Oh, don't thank me for that. What? Anyway, we're doing Yakuza Kiwami 2. We will be finishing the hostess stuff today. Uh, why do I keep getting... Okay, anyway, uh, let's just... Creative Corner gifted a tier 1 sub to carrot underscore sandwich. As well as... <laughs> Creative Corner gifted a tier one sub to the hey, Undercore Potato yeah. Captain. Yeah. You're appreciated. Yay. More appreciation. Keep giving it. I'm kidding. Don't do that. Don't waste your money on me if you need to pay bills. Creative Corner gifted a tier one sub to Gamepedia. Hmm. I don't know why I included the text in this. Creative Corner gifted a tier one sub to says underscore the underscore Avon underscore Queen. <laughs> Any more you got for me? Creative Maybe. Corner gifted a tier one sub to the British syndicalist. So it might be a little bit smaller than that. Oh no. Looking at that freaking hype train, just being like, come on, initiate. Oh, no, 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 not the hype train. Oh, you're going to hype train me. I'm going to hype train you. No, I don't have a yes. thing for hype trains yet. I don't think about it because I have so little. Anyway. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, let's get over to the game, shall we? You ready, Core? Core? Very ready. I'm gonna just move you a little. Thank you for the hundred bits, Core. You're welcome. Just gonna move Core a little bit. Why must that hype train tantalize me? Because it's supposed to tantalize you and empty your wallet to pay, give me money because you think I'm a great and wonderful person, according to you guys. Does another? Does it what? One other person have to do it? Yep. Ah, well, dang it. Did you guys know I have merch? Well, at least he's not spamming my specialty f my specialty ones, even though I worked so hard on those. Ugh. I keep forgetting. I have a list on the bottom. I swear I'm going to make it one of my little thingies that go, hey, uh, if you want to donate bits, donate at these numbers, because then you get funny shit. Anyway. Let's get this show on the road. Ah. 
Ready, Core? I'm ready, baby! I don't know why I went Eddie Murphy on that. I don't know why either. And I'm concerned. Let's see here, what's 10 minutes? Now let's see where it takes us. That is, if you stay at pace. Mmm, Luxord, baby, darling. What? Nothing, just your immediate thirst. Uh, it's Luxor, dude! See, that's the other reason why I've been trying to make more creative bits, because everyone's like, oh, you're just into Majima. I know, I'm into other characters, it's just very hard to make stuff for them, because, you know, limited. 13 do. Oh, there's Punk Moogle for the win, going in with 95 bits. What's 95 bits? I don't know. It's just 95... It's just 95 bits. Punk Moogle's just being awesome. Ah, okay. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I was just sitting here going, there's nothing special for 95, I thought. We're not doing it for special stuff, we're doing it to appreciate you. Ah, the appreciation, ah! Be smothered it. Be smothered in our love, cat. Be smothered by the fact that your audience enjoys your company. No! Oh, also, you want to see the new girl we got? Yes. Well, one of the new girls? Yes. Get you song. Ooh, I do like her dress. Uh. She doesn't look that bad. <laughs> Hold on, I'm reading something. Yeah, go right ahead. I'm... Um, Survive here with the 420! Number. Ha. 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 What? <laughs> Glad I was going, ha, ha, ha. That's my voice, by the way. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> worked very hard on that. Oh, what about your friend? Well, you up your advice and apologize, and she went to the button and quit. And then she made love to a cheese. One little spark of inspiration. inspiration. Thank you for the one little spark of inspiration to be 10. Why 10? Because, because you fawning over that over that dude was funny. Cool. Now let's see where it takes us. That is if you stay at pace. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's Luxord. What do you expect? Sooner or later I will play Kingdom Hearts. Although I'm going to fucking hate Kingdom Hearts 3 because apparently a lot of important plot lines got dropped off of the wayside because Disney's known for doing this. There is Disney, Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, the thing is, uh, the creator of Kingdom Hearts, he loves his stuff, he loves his work, but I guess Disney started to get a little foothold. Because yes, we so needed a whole nother Let It Go sequence in, in the universe. No. I'm like, if we were doing this in the Encantoverse and we were doing We Don't Talk About Bruno, I'll be fine with it. It's a fucking bop. Yeah. We Don't Talk About Bruno hits on so many different levels. And it can work in the Kingdom Hearts universe. Yeah, because you could have Sora, Sora and the gang just in the background kind of sneaking around with Bruno. And also dancing to the song. Seven foot frame. Frame and rats so along his back. back. <laughs> oh, this girl's mom is being like, "You are real. You need to get a real job." But my job is a real job. No, it's not. It's not making you suffer. 
Fuck you! Uh, I've got Grandma listening to Under the Sea and just auto translating the Under the Mick. Under the Mickey. <laughs> But yeah, Kingdom Hearts got so bogged down in its own lore. No, it's not just that. Because, like, again, like I said, the creator, he loves his characters and he wants to give them the good story. Because, you know, everything. But everyone has this big theory that the reason why it, Kingdom Hearts 3 is not as good as it could have been was because of Disney really, really putting their elbow in. You know, like they did with Marvel. <laughs> and, uh, Star Wars. And Star Wars. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Rise of the Skywalker, you hunk of trash. So like, I, I'm gonna... so Oops, like, go everyone thinks that like because so many of these major important plot points got dropped and everything, they're thinking, well, Kingdom Hearts Four might actually be great, but no one's gonna want to play Kingdom Hearts Four because of how shit Kingdom Hearts Three was. What was there at Kingdom Hearts Four? What? How is there a Kingdom Hearts Four? Because it ended again on a cliffhanger. But didn't Sora get Thanos snapped out of existence? I don't. Re I th here's the problem. I if for some reason there's some anger and rage in Kingdom Hearts three that makes me not remember the plot. And then I suddenly get really, really sad, and I don't remember why. Google just made a deep cut. There will uh, there will be a Kingdom Hearts four as long as the mouse gets his money. <laughs> Yeah. The mouse is definitely getting its money with how much... Someone pointed out, like, uh, through all the uh, hours of cutscenes there are in Kingdom Hearts, right? Mm -hmm. Only three of that massive number of hours is dedicated to actual original Kingdom Hearts stuff. Ooh. I think Disney really got their elbow in. Yeah. Ugh. We're talking about Kingdom Hearts while we're playing this game. That, that, this is our server. This is my life. <laughs> but yeah, Akia is fighting for her friend who wants to keep her job as a hostess, but her friend's about mom is being a bitch. Fighting into our I, li I like Aika. I like Aika. Aika's, Aika's a good person. Aika is a good person. I thought I was going to hate Aika, to be perfectly honest, because she seemed like that party go Britney Spears party type. Like, I can't hear uh, Aika, but I can only give her Ryoko's voice. She has a Kasani accent. I do not know what that means. It, you know the accent that Majima uses when he talks? Kasani. Oh, okay. It's different than a Japanese accent. They've, expl they've explained it, but I can't remember off the top of my brain. I was very tired because I'm the idiot who was doing stupid things at 1 a.m. You're not allowed to talk. I can't. I was mining. I was uh, I was chopping wood in Final Fantasy 14 for like two hours straight. This man is wearing Majima's jacket and it's the wrong color and I'm going to kill him. Fucking get him. Get him. Huh? Break those stupid sunglasses. I'm gonna steal that shirt though. That shirt is a lovely blue. You're gonna steal clothing now? What are we in Skyrim? <laughs> I'm close to <Boy>. Gremlin. <laughs> I see good clothes, I nab them. Force solicitation isn't allowed? What's force solicitation? Oh. Alright, we're about to do the thing. Let's do it. Let's see if I can fight these guys. Let's see if bleary-eyed, one-eye closed, if Kat can punch the shit out of this person, which evidently, she very much can. I'm only pressing one button. No think, just mash one button. No think, just punch. Just mash, just mash. Oh god. Just keep going, just keep going. Hey, you know, you can get 
You can get Kiryu yeah. all drunk, and you know it, it probably wouldn't wouldn't be all that not realistic. Shut up. <laughs> Where did they go? You son of a bitch! Why did you move over there? I'm standing right in front of you. You shut up! I'll get to you in a moment. Your twins mouthing off to me. There, a picture of Majima for the Majima collection. Mm, that foxy face. Oh, that's Kiryu, not Majima. <laughs> Yo, you just. You're as bad as I was after a freaking, like, 12 hour flight. Shut up. It also didn't help that all day that day I was just dealing with people and I did not listen to the part of my brain going, Cat, don't do the thing. I basically used a ninth level spell. Oh, so you be all wibbly wobbly. Mm. You see, you see, warlocks. This is what happens when your patron, patron gives you too much power. <laughs> they lose sleep. You make a joke about that, but my friends do jokingly call me a warlock because when I was explaining the concept of spoon theory, it was easier for me to explain it in the terms of spell slots going. Certain things cost more magic than others. And even though, you know, there is not really a mana system, they understood it a lot better. And they all then jokingly called me a warlock because it's like, I need a, I need a wank and a biscuit in order to, you know, get my energy back. And I go, please don't call it a wank and a biscuit. I just need a nap. I was about to say, let's not, let's not, like, compare those two things. Well, that was the joke with the DM. The DM's like, we recharge, warlocks recharge after a wank and a biscuit. But I sit here going, can we just call it a nap like a normal person? Yeah, like, just because warlocks have high charisma does not mean they're the sexual deviants like bards are. Bards aren't a sexual deviant, and I want cherries. Oh, it's a Joe Cat joke. Oh, that's right, I remember. What? What's the Joe Cat joke? The wink and the biscuit? Oh, yeah. yeah, for warlocks. Oh, just blast! And if you aren't contractually obligated to be a sexy... sex deviant bard, Matthew Mercer's gonna crawl through your window and throw pool noodles at you from the corner. Why? E. E. Because you aren't... You're on a sex deviant bard. Should I tell? Should I break it to you that the two bards I have neither are sex deviants? Yeah, it's always fun to break away from. Uh, for, one from of the, the usual. One of my bards is a little old lady. You've seen the character. Yes, I have. If you happen to be a Bedknocks and Broomsticks fan, it's the character Angela Lansbury plays. I wanted to see if I could do something similar to that. <laughs> Ooh, let there be booze! I like this! Yeah, Survivor, but Joe Cat didn't account for one thing, and that's currently what Cat's going through. A point of exhaustion. Fuck off. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not going through a point of exhaustion! You're going through three points of exhaustion. I'd be dead if I did that. No, it's seven. Seven points of exhaustion, I thought. Survivor, can you look that up for us? <laughs> yeah, Survivor, be our back... Backseat DM and tell, tell us uh, how many points of exhaustion before you just drop dead. Okay, so I can't do... You have Captain... Punk, you have Captain Moogle... Uh, Captain Moogle... Captain Morgan in your freezer? Well, you better let him out. What was I gonna do... Oh, yeah, okay. it might be four, actually. If you, if we won, it could be four, it could be seven. It's a very, very, very good thing to remember as a DM. There's a small difference between a four and a seven, Core. Yeah, three digits. 
Uh, oh yeah, I need to do the uh, collecting of the fans in the Millionaire's League, because the Millionaire's League is the final league. Okay, I can do this. No, I can't help but imagine a Captain Moogle just Captain Morgan a, b a barrel, but he's uh, having to float. Okay. I can do this. I believe in me. Court, do you still yes. have the guide? I can get it. Hold on, just a moment. Uh, hostess. Girl, oh, for me. Mm, look who's a hostess guide. Bada be ba baba booey. I got the guide right here, Tui. Okay, good, because we're going to go buy some property. Alrighty then. I just need to know where the property is. We're doing the Millionaire's League, if that helps you. Hostess. Alright. Not fresh. Paradise. Hmm. Where can I get from that? Ah, Millionaire League. Got it. Business partners. You got Tekchen Fugu. Where is Tekchen Fugu? Tekchen Fugu is a uh, northwest. What street? Uh, Sotenbori. East Sotenbori or just Sotenbori? Sotenbori. Uh, it's closer to West Sotenbori. Thank you. I like how we have to confirm, because, you know, there's three different Sotenbores. There's even the city of Sotenbori. Which we are currently in. And I also have modded burner. I have a f I, I have fire in a can. Also, you're right, Hung Moogle. And <laughs> Moogles in general are very versatile creatures. Do you know what else is a versatile creature? What is that? Bunnies. Bunnies. They, they very are versatile creatures. Lagomorphs in general. They can either be... Either be the sexual deviants everybody thinks they are, or they could be fucking monsters like, Hey, hey Mr. Rabbit. <laughs> He's actually looking this up. He is. He is very awesome. Thank you, Survivor. So, yes, uh, disadvantage on ability checks, which we are currently seeing in Cat right now. Shut up! <laughs> okay, Tension Fugu has been bought. You, you need to get another point before I, of exhaustion before I can start out running you. Uh, no, remember, I already have disadvantage at running because I'm freaking crippled. Remember, I use a cane. I even get... Get a bigger advantage. Until you throw the cane at me, then... Then hopefully, uh... That ability check in disadvantage will help. Wait till I just roll two nat 20s. Yeah, oh wait, no. No, you don't take disadvantage until... Until level three exhaustion. So you can actually just throw the cane at me. <laughs> Shit. By the way, do tell, uh, do tell me to shut up if I'm get, getting too riley. I, you think I can be able to do that? I'm. S All right. Uh. Uh. By the way, all of the ones you need are on, uh, the main Sultan Bori Street. Yeah, I've noticed that. I like it when they're all on the same street and I don't have to run across the house. And you're, and you are most definitely right. Survivor frenzy is bullshit. It's absolutely stupid. Do totem warrior. Yeah, I tried to explain that to one guy who was playing a barbarian for the first time, uh, playing D and D for the first time. I suggested not to deal with the points of exhaustion. But he's like, nah, I like the angry. 
I go, you can yeah, go berserker. Yeah, like, unless your DM, like, gives you some sort of item to fix that, there's no real way of getting rid of that point of exhaustion. Well, there is a way, but you won't like it. Yeah, it's called sleeping. Gosh, that sounds nice right now. No, it doesn't. We're just buying all these buildings and partnering with them. Just going over here, it's like, ooh, what's this shiny Chinese dishware? I'm fucking buying this shit. Yeah, it takes a long time to go away. Is it, isn't it like a, a point each time you long rest? It's not like wiped out. Yep. Oh God. So that means you gotta commit to uh to that shit. You expect me to commit to shit? I was meaning the frenzied rage. Excuse you. The toast is having its revenge. Well, that. What would you have on top of it? Or was it just toast? Ricotta cheese. Oh, that might be the problem. Yeah. That might be fighting you back. Tell me something I don't know. I need. Uh, the bookstore and the other place and the other place. I'm so perky. Majima could run around on this screen right now butt ass naked and I don't think I would react. Oh god, I am I am tired. I you say that, but I would imagine, like, your sleep-addled mind just making you launch towards the screen and forgetting that he's not there. Majima na shirtless. Majima plunk! You okay, cat? Defined okay. So here's the thing about the Millionaire's Club. If they find out you have a weakness within your group, they will exploit the crap out of it, which means we have to make sure we have zero weaknesses. No Russians. Wait. the Okadao bookstore. Where's the Okadao bookstore? Bookstore! I need your learning. Heads up the street. Ooh, oh, never mind. Never mind. It might have been mine. End. Mine. End. Never mind. What? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it in the slightest. Okay. You are awesome. You are perfect, and you're doing your best. Okay. I just you. saw Kiryu bulge. You are just running on autopilot. I'm what? So, You're just you, running on autopilot right now. Does it give it? Does it really come off like I'm running on autopilot right now? A little bit. Should we be concerned? I mean, if you want to keep going, I, I want to keep going because I want to finish this. Finish the thingy. Why not? You mean the hostess thing? That thingy? Yes, that thingy. Okay, that thingy. And I also want to get back to Maji's husband. 
and kiss him and teach him the ways of love. Oh, don't judge me, universe. No judgment? Well, maybe a little bit of judgment. There's always a little bit of judgment when it comes to... When it comes to hitting on fantasy characters. I was also going to make a joke going, this is technically what Cat would be like if drunk, because, you know, sleepy. Also good. I'm going to do a little bit of technical, uh, technical check. Uh, how is everybody, how's the stream for everybody right now? Yeah, how's the stream for everybody? To me, it's a little bit choppy, but I'm looking to make sure that it isn't just my side that something's going fucky lucky. You were wondering, yes, we could hear you playing Mass Effect from the other room. I wasn't gonna say anything. Garbage! <laughs> what happened? <laughs> She's doing the hammerhead missions in Mass Effect 2. Oh no. And I warned her. I warned her. It's going to get worse with the hammerhead. And she was like, oh, it actually plays really nice. I love the controls. Now she just got into the combat combat missions, and all I'm hearing from the other, like, the other side of the door is, damn it, son of a bitch, I fucking, why am I stuck in a hole? Oh, so it's like the, 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 Yeah, it's the new tank, not, not the, not the brum 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 tank. Oh, it's not the Mako. Mako? Yeah, it's not the Mako, it's not the Mako Mako, it's the hammerhead. It's still a shark. It's, yes, it's still a shark. I want to see the great white. If these naming conventions take hold, I... She is learning. Yep. Ginger is very much learning to hate the Hammerhead. Hey, what's up, Mad Squirrel? Oh, hey, Mad Squirrel, what's up? I'm so it's also, if I'm not as my usual perky self, I'm usually perky, but... I'm dying. Somebody inside. was up late playing VR chat. Listen, I learned how to draw a butt. Anybody else, that wouldn't make sense. But as an artist, oh my god, you actually learned that? No, I've already known how to draw a butt. The joke is basically I drew a butt. <laughs> Hold on, my... My Whiffy's having a mental breakdown beside me. You okay over there? You all right? Yeah. Stupid guest came in. Stupid server scientist decided to use stupid guest technology and their stupid freaking experiments. And the stupid one hit, one hit, small margin of error. Oh. Machine that controls like garbage. I, I just want to point something out to you, hun. You said you were stuck in a hole, right? Yes, because the terrain, there was like a little... You're a floating tank. How do you get stuck in holes? <laughs> Everyone also wants to point out that we've said hi to Ginger. Oh. They say hi, by the way, and Survivor specifically wants me to give you a pat on the back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Love you, sweetie. I... Yeah, go have fun storming the Geth Castle. Think she's gonna make it? I don't know. You were supposed to say it's gonna take a miracle. We're doing the whole freaking Princess Bride bit over here. It was a floating hole. Wait a minute. My brain just broke reading that. It's Mad Score, what'd you just do to me? Hey now, you got your D&D in, in my Mass Effect. You got your Mass Effect in my D&D. You got my butt in my waffle. Ashtray. Yeah. That's called a pancake. You're a pancake. Just top notch, top notch commentary from from a sleep addled mind. Uh oh! Oh! Up! 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 Time to take that dude out back. You can't kill people. I didn't say anything about killing. See, this I, is the I problem. I just thought with... we would. Uh... Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. This is the problem with the Millionaires Club. They're so hyper picky. It's not even funny. Just a bunch of old money, old money, eighteen-year-olds. Just like I got a. I got a PlayStation 5 as a kid when they just came out. My father knows the head of Sony. Yeah, knows the head of Sony. <laughs> <laughs> Only four hours of sleep and you still have, have a sharp tongue. <laughs> I got seven hours of sleep, thank you very much. Oh, this is you on seven hours? My gosh, I wish I had seven hours of sleep. That'd be amazing. Yo, that dude was, uh... Let's just take the drinky away from him just for a little bit. No, don't take the drinky from him. Take the everything from him. He, he seemed like he was a uh, he was he was a little bit rowdy. He, he, I think he's drunk. It does make sharp tongue doesn't require a sharp mind, but but it does make spitting fire more. In more interesting. Ah, <laughs> uh, wise words, Survive. Wise words, indeed. Yes. I actually, uh, I actually remember, like, back when I was in high school. I flew... I think it was from... Hawaii all the way back to Oklahoma. I believe. I, I don't know where exactly it was from, but it was a long fucking flight. And and at the end of it, I only got like two to three hours of sleep before going back to school the next day. And I looked my my mom in the face like, Mom, I'm really tired. I don't know if I can go to school. And she's like, sweetie, I'm, I have to go to school. I know it's bad. You can't miss another, another day. You need to go. It's like, oh. Oh, okay. And then I wore my and I wore uh, my Boston Bruins jersey when I went because I love Boston Bruins. Speed, even now, I don't like hockey, but I like the Boston Bruins. And some dude pointed this out. It was like, "Oh, hey, you like the Boston Bruins?" I went, "Boston Bruins!" Yeah. And I just slammed my head into the desk. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I knocked myself out for like a good 15 minutes. Yeah, also real talk cat. Please take a nap. What's a nap? 
It's where you put your head on a pillow for like 15 minutes to, an, to two hours. But it doesn't work sometimes. I know. I know that feeling. Oh, this is gonna kill me. I, I have heard, though, that if you specifically might make it either 15 minutes or two hours, then that'll be a lot better. 15 minutes is for a mental reset, two hours is for, like, a full physical reset. I'm gonna need the two, I'm gonna need the two hour one. Survivor, what happened to you? <laughs> By the way, Core, hearing stuff like that reminds me that that I grew up in an Asian household. Look, I know school sucks. You gotta go to school. <laughs> That's called the American education system, baby. Hi, Punk Moogle. We're doing more money making so we can become God. Core is wearing a fancy hat. <gasps> yeah! It's a blanket. Oh. But Hold it's... on, let me go get my fedora to put on this blanket. Now, there's a tricky thing with wearing ha hats and having horns. It, 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 you gotta kind of prop it in the middle. Some, some people would like to, like, hang it off of one horn. That way they have the, per the permanent tilted hat look. But it always sways from side to side for me. It looks weird. And here goes Grandma. My mother rips off all the sheets. Time to go to school and remember, don't come home, home stupid. Don't go home, stupid dears. Uh oh. What? Dreams go. Dreams. Oh wait, nope. We're back. Yeah, that's the. That's just Twitch. But that's just OBS being a bitch. OBS has been being a bitch for a while now. OBS. Uh, Shit together. Uh, After stream, I'm just gonna be knocked out. I just picture you walking over to your bed and just family guy falling on it. No, I'm gonna do like the fallen freaking uh Princess and the Frog. Okay, pretty lady, go out, let's go forth, do your thing. Time to go to school and remember, don't come home, don't don't come home, stupid dears. <laughs> now, now, is she saying that you don't come home as stupid dears, or is she saying don't come home, stupid comma dears? That make that really, really. Nah, they want. It's really important to the context of <laughs> of of the story. Okay, comma. Because now I just imagine survive your mother yelling at you to not come home as a, as a stupid deer or something. He comes home as a stag that doesn't know how to open a jar of pickles. You see, this is what happens in the American education system. They're either excelling greatly, and that's a short margin, or they just come home as dumb deer. <laughs> like the end is always a term of endearment. Oh, that. That level of passive aggressivism. <laughs> they need to understand the emotional damage. Emotional damage. Yep, our What? Just one moment. I need a menu. 
放射員店長、さりげなくフォローします。失礼します。But yeah, our par parents' generation had to grow up through a lot of physical abuse. They're like, we're not gonna do that. Turned to mental abuse. Mm-hmm. Well, that's how it was with my family, anyways. Go, Grandma! Yay, Grandma! Oh yeah, that's always that's always fun when that happens when when your brain is thinking too fast for your fingers. Don't don't remind me. Have you ever typed out a sentence and then you realize you forgot an object? Have you ever typed a sentence and forgot the word the? Very. A lot more than than you'd think, yeah. Thank you so much, Punk Moogle. But I don't think you can get rid of this with just Kira. We're gonna need more than just Kira. We'll need Sleepa. I need, I need four CCs of Materia stat. Where'd you get the Materia? Uh, don't ask. It cost me like twenty thousand gil, and I really hope I didn't get ripped off. Hello there. What? Aren't you just... Oh, no, no, no. You found a bot, didn't you? Oh yeah, very much so. Loose mm. do we can do. fun with that list, aren't you? Oh, absolutely. That looked like the only one in there. Sorry about that, everyone. We just getting rid of a, a little bot problem. Did you say butt or bot? Oh, getting rid of some bot butt. It's a bot butt. Yeah, okay, numero dos. We can make the money. Not the oil baron. Let him try. Robot is is the best bot. Also, survivor hugs. Are you happy with your with your life currently? Is everything going all right? Who me? You... Oh, get. Well, yeah, you too. Everything's fine in my life. Last I checked. 
then you're a good bean. And so are you, Survivor. It's time to go on a date with a random chick. Oh, good grief. A running gag. What? Oh, nothing. Nothing, just reacting to, uh, to Survivor right now. Also, Cat's an adorable bean. You lie! Hey, aren't I right, chat? Cat's an adorable bean. You lie! ああ、どうなんでしょう。ただ、引っ越しをしてきただけで。ああ、ちょっと。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、
I like tea. I like I like I like coffee with my cream. <laughs> So I was gonna watch this archive footage and be like, she is so fucking tired. She is so drunk. It's sober for once. Fun fact, everyone. Having only about having a uh, little little to no sleep can actually equate to being being somewhat drunk. Are you trying to state something? Yes. You You've somehow done a drunk sober stream at the same time. Which is weird because I fell asleep at one. Also, yes, hugs for cats. Hugs for cat. I like what manga? Gag manga. I thought that said gay manga, and I was just like, Kiryu, you do you. Aha, there is hope. Kiryu likes the booty. <laughs> just, just thinking back to Fluff's dream. <laughs> Gary likes the chocolate starfish. No! <laughs> no, 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 I've just been thinking to myself, what are some, like, horrifying words that pop up now and again that just make me instantly nope out? Chocolate that's, starfish? That's one of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, as survivors says, just don't, don't, don't try to, like, stay up three days straight. Markiplier tried this really stupid, stupid experiment of, like, taking 15-minute naps throughout the day in place of actually sleeping. And he was like, oh yeah, short term wise, it was amazing. I got so much done. I, I, I was actually able to do a lot of work. But then after a while, like after a week, I started like getting really tired. I was bogged down all the time and I started seeing shadow people. That's normal. See, that's not a good thing. Uh oh. What? Yeah. Oh, just having a little connectivity issues. It might be. It might just be me. The shadow monster man. What? Nope, oh, just making sure you're still there. No, I'm alive. Notice my computer's moving. I'm still alive. Just making sure. Just making sure you're not going catatonic on me. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Pun unintended. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Also, yes, Brobot, sleepy kitty. Not sleepy. Very sleep, much sleep. Again, I hear the sorrowful distress of my my whiffy. Why is she screwing up? I think she's still stuck on on the tank mission. She'll be fine. Oh yeah, I'm sure she'll be fine. Just her sanity I'm worried about.
Throw uh, a pillow at them, pillow at them, punk. Ow! Not, not you. Their nephew. They're nineteen. They can take it. And do like a baseball pitch throw with with that pillow too. Just like cock your arm back and go. Oh! Just Beyblade that motherfucker. Three, two, one, let it rip. <laughs> of course, have fun with it though. <laughs> Make all the money. We're trying. We're seducing the money off these pants. Let the spice flow. There is no spice, there is only Zul. There's no melange spice, but how will we be able to traverse the galaxy? Use Expand the, the Emperor's will. Use the mass effect. Ugh. You mean zero? Element zero? Ugh. Some radioactive shit. I actually don't remember, is there like a drawback to using element zero? I know as a biotic you're pretty much screwed over. It's like, don't worry kids, we're gonna Captain America this shit and just pump this crap straight into your veins. Yay! Nothing says government oversight like illegal experimentation. Yeah, no. Go team! What? What did you say? Ah, uh, the Holzman effect. Let's see here. Effect was a scientific theory relating to the repellent force of a subatomic part of subatomic particle particles and is part of a branch of scientific discoveries in the area of physics to bear the root name Holtzman. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that how they created the shields in Dune? Was using the Holtzman effect? Oh, it is. Yes, 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 it is. Okay, okay, I see it. I see it now. <laughs> We're reaching a very, very major low in in nerddom. Yeah, half asleep cat trying to play doing this while. Well... What you don't like people grabbing your sensitives? Well, you should have thought thought ahead, Kiryu, after having introduced a man's balls to his fist. <laughs> Ooh, that is a lot of money. Like, just in general, that is a whoo amount of money. And if you have some spare money as well, we have... Cat has a merch store that you can go to right now in in the chat, right there. You can get a whole bunch of stuff, like with like a cup that has a sippy 
emoji on it. Which is adorbs. Hey, 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 remember kids, you know Touchy or Kiryu Fisty. No Fisty. Remember, these clubs are just like ho are like strip clubs in uh, ho haunted houses. No Touchy the actors. Exactly. Oh, uh, sir, don't you mean feisty? No, Fisty. <laughs> We can fight against Platinum Goddess now. We got the Muns. Got the Muns. All of the Muns. Yeah, baby. Cat, you rolling in dirt. I have dough. You have all the dough. You have dough to dough, dough, dough to dough, dough, dough. Story core. Hmm, let's see here. Story, 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 story. Fuck, there are like 3,000 different stories I have, but I can't remember a fucking one. Oh! There is. There is some uh, D and D shenanigans that happened. Did I tell you all about how how my wife's Jin, uh, how Jinji's bard met his his son, all grown up? I did. Yes. All right. May I tell it again? Yes. Okie dokie. So, Jinji's bard wrote, uh, his name is Damon. And essentially, he, and, uh, essentially, he went to this dragonborn cobalt country by the name of Tulruk. There, while essentially doing trade business for a nearby village, he comes across a little thieving kobold and his giant drake that uh, essentially stole money from him. While tracking this thief down, the kobold got apprehended by some dragonborn guards and was going to have his hand cut off as punishment for stealing. Damon, however, in was going to in intervene, telling the guards off for basically trying to harm this child, until a, a band of assassins killed the guards. Though this is part of a different story, of course. This little, co little cobalt child by the name of Meek later helping Damon out in in getting to the assassins in order to stop them from overthrowing the entire government of Tolruk. He then found out that this child had no home, had no parents, and every now and again would speak about how 
uh, about his life being abandoned by his family and living in the sewer system of Tolrock. Damon quickly swooped this child up into his arms and, and said, You're coming with us. Do we need to file any paperwork at all to, you know, transport this child back back home? Is there an adoption process? And the Dragonborn looked at him very confused and said, You can just take him. Nobody wants him. Was he abandoned? Uh, yes. Uh, then he's yours. Nobody else wants him. And that solidified Damon as a loving parent who whisked this little cobalt child home and proceeded to take care of him. He even got him an education, one involving the lovely art of instruments and, and the teachings in, in science and mathematics. After a very, very arduous journey back home, uh, it was found out that Meek had a very substantial amount of skill in arcanic, in arcanic engineering, having rigged up a messaging machine using magic from some of the Fey that lived in the city. After doing this, uh, Damon heard voices coming from within his room, wondering what exactly is going on on in there. Opening up the door, uh, Meek immediately tries to feign ignorance, immediately saying, I wasn't talking to anybody, there's nobody here, and quickly looks down, looks at the edge of his bed, to which cues Damon in to look underneath the bed, and there is a fully grown cobalt. A fully grown cobalt male that quickly bolts for the nearest window, only to slam into it, realizing that it was shut. Uh, Meek's Drake Brutus then comes along, being, you know, this giant 150 pound scaly war beast, charges at, at the intruder, stops, then looks over at Meek. Looks at the intruder, looks at Meek, looks confused, looks at Damon, wondering, going through a crisis right there in the middle of the hallway that uh, that the intruder had run to to try and get out through a window. And finally the intruder's like, okay, all right, you caught me. Can can we can we please go into uh, into uh, Toto's room? Toto? How do you know Toto? How do you know our monk? You... Why do you know so much about us? Like, listen, listen. I'll, I'm, I'm going. I'm going to tell you right now. It's going to be weird. Just, just can you please go to his room. I know he's not there. I know he's gone at this point. So they go in, and this blue cobalt takes off a ring, and his blue, blue scales immediately turn the same color as me. And he locks eyes with Damon. And the first thing he says is, Hey, Dad. And Ginger looks at me with death eyes and, and shouts, Did you just bring timey-wimey bullshit into my D&D &D campaign? Yes, he did. Sorry, I'm so tired, audience. I don't know why I'm so sleepy. I was fine like 20 minutes ago. Ten minutes ago. I was fine a while ago. I was about to say, how long this stream be going on for? An hour twenty-seven? Shush. <laughs> you try staying perky and happy while you have a thirty thousand pound cat in your lap. That's a really fucking big cat. It's mostly floof. <gasps> floof. Giant floof ball. Pet the floof. The floof bites. Ah! I do not mean to rub the belly. Floof is a trap. The floof is a trap. The floof is a trap. The floof is a trap. Ah! The floof's worth a trap. The floof is worth a trap. 
<laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Just start, just keeps petting the cat, even even as it's hanging on, blood starting to pour out. God. Yeah. I actually got scars going up my wrist because uh, because my family's cat, this sweet sweet black cat, wonderful, the, probably the best cat I've ever had the joy of having as a pet. Just a wonderful being. Would be very calm, very very adorable, petting his belly, nothing's happening. Then you... But if you go to grab his belly, if you go to play with him, if you go to like grab his head and all that, he will unsheathe those back sabers and proceed to rake through your arm with the same sadistic joy as a, as a Burmese tiger. Oh, I have to go through the main plot now because apparently we have to stock up to prepare for the deciding match. Come back to Forest Shrine after progressing through the main story a bit more. They prepared for this! They, up, 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 up. You have to play more of the main story first. Go find Majima, husband. Ugh. By, by the way, Punk, if you think... If you think that's... That's a sad... Or, like, that's a crying story. Uh, there's one time Damon got afflicted with, uh, this... Uh, this very horrific, like, uh, sewer disease. Because they had to go fight a massive Otiug. They got fattened up by all the sewage. And he, he goes back home feeling just absolutely disgusting. Fever-ridden all over. Just his... His entire body just wrecked by this disease. Uh, the other player, uh, her, their character, Hoslin, part werewolf, can't get diseases. And Toto, the affirmation monk, is a monk, also not prone to diseases. So Dame is the only one who just gets diseased by this thing, goes home, and Meek immediately starts taking care of them. And is like, oh, I used to get that, dis I used to get sick like that all the time. We used to sleep all the time in the sewers, and and Brutus would take care of me. And Ginger just looked at me like, oh, my poor child. Oh, my sweet bean, you're sleeping in a bed now. You don't have to sleep in a fucking sewer system. But it's so fun. It's so fun having to fight off the rats for scraps. Oh it helps bring calories. The calories I need to survive. So, Ikuka. Why do they keep showing Kiryu's crotch? Why not? I don't see this as a downside, personally. I am waiting though. I am waiting on bated breath for one of these drivers just to be just to be Majima. We're not in Kiwami, we're only in the second one. I know, I know. He just looks over the sea and goes, Where are we off to, Kiryu chan? That's a jam emote. I thought that was a crying emote. <laughs> Sorry, Pung I, th I thought that emote was different. I have many concerns for you, Pung. I need to make a jam. And I have concerns for you, too. I'm fine. I'm continuing the plot. You're gonna wake up tomorrow and just be like, did I stream yesterday? What happened? Why do I remember Core singing about monkeys? 
C is from monkey, that's good enough for me. C is from monkey, that's good enough for me. Self pro self fulfilling prophecy. C is from monkey, it's good enough for me. Oh, monkey, 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 don't you see? Aha! Boobies! Well, hello there! Boobies? Oh no, accidental boobies. Here you being a jump and just be like, no, I'm not looking. Also, bye bot. Mm. Yes. Indeed. Naked lady. Naked lady. Oh no! Twitch, twitch. Cover it up. Cover it up. Twitch. We're not doing anything bad. Promise. Promise. It's just, it's just, it's just a game. It's just a game. It's artistic. It's just a game. Kiryu, don't look. Don't look for the love of God. Ballad of Tired Cat. Here you are on the liquor. Oh. Oh. Boobies. Not boobies. No boobies. Boobies? No. No boobies. No boobies. No boobies. Boobies? No, no boobies. No boobies. Welcome to this very insightful insightful dialogue, everybody. Listen, I could be insightful, but I'm tired. Boobies. Brought to you by Insomnia. Insomnia. It makes us do some weird shit. I am actually like half considering stopping the stream after this cutscene and then going to take a nap and then come back an hour later. That's probably for the best. Why, guys? Is it because I sound like I'm half asleep and half dead and want to eat someone's face? One hour nap and be like, I'm alive, Kor, where the hell are you? Wait, we're starting up stream again. That's just shit. Where is everybody? Where did my computer go? Why am I on the roof of my house? How did I get here? And that, that's when we find out Cat is a sleepwalker. What? Exactly. I don't sleepwalk. My blankie prevents it. I, I bundle myself up like a burrito. Make out! Yes, do it! Make your dreams come true! Make out! Mm. He used to dress up in a fursuit. Are you referring to Kiryu? No, I'm referring to you. Yes, I'm referring to Kiryu. Those are real hot, no thank you. Not to mention it, the fact that they are expensive. They are horribly expensive. Support local artists, but also hot damn. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, right, Purgatory. I want to go. Majima's there. Mm. Should we go see Majima or should we wait till I'm more perky for Majima? Stay probably more perky. So, do you think you can handle yourself being without me for an hour, audience? I'm so sorry that this video is so short. I'll come back later, I promise. I'm just so... Hey, take care of yourself, alright? That's, oh. that's important. Okay, just give me a second. So, there'll be a later stream tonight. So, if that helps you guys out, I'm just gonna, again, take a nap, see if I'm better in like an, ha an hour, hour and a half, bug the crap out of court and tell him to help me out with my stream. Hey, now. What? S sending your audience against me, how dare you? Uh, you know... I'll try to help as best I can. I know. Hold on. I'm gonna give you guys someone to go to that's more entertaining than a half-sleep-deprived me. 